This is a HeadGum Original. from these two guys. Really appreciate that. That was huge. Is it a standing ovation if only two do it? Or is it like mostly a sitting ovation and then two guys sort of had to pee? Ov- these guys ovated for me. But is, an ovation means like a wave of ovating. No, no, I don't think that's what it means. Yeah, that yeah. was like mostly... I would you say you got a, a standing O tonight? I would, tell my, I would tell my dad that I got a standing ovation. <laughs> Because he wouldn't follow up with by how many people. Yeah. He would just. He would like, assume it was everybody. Everyone. Yeah, and he won't listen to the audio of this podcast when we release it. So Nor he should he watch the video right, of it. He won't know. Yes. It's amazing. Thank you guys. You made my night. A full standing O. <laughs> for me. And only me. Uh, guys, thank you so much for coming back to HeadGum Happy Hour. Is that the name of the show? I was gonna say Headgum Live, but yeah, Headgum Happy Hour is correct. Oh, right. Although it's 9:30 p.m. Right. Not exactly a happy hour. We should change the title or the time. <laughs> right. Would you guys be down for Headgum Live at 4:45? If there were dollar wings? No way. It would have to be. Yeah, Headgum Happy Hour. Yeah, earlier right. or Headgum Live later. Well, people would have stood to ovate. I bet it were earlier. It wouldn't have been more than two. It's been a long two. day for everyone. It wouldn't have been it more than two. It had nothing to do with like love for me. Yeah, it did. Because people's legs are tired. It's nine. What if it was one of them? Is that a standing I ovation? I, yeah. One. Yeah. One. Yeah. One. One and done. One All right. What if it. one of them just started walking away during? <laughs> Are the they intro. clapping on the way to the bathroom? They're sort of looking over, and they might be slapping their thigh. <laughs> That's a standing Because they're man. holding a canister a of beer. There's people over there that actually are standing as well. No, oh, no they're on that's, stools. There's a, there's, there's that's a stool. stool. <laughs> okay, is anyone standing just half? Oh, yeah, there's people standing. Look at that standing over by the room bar, ova- and I bet they ovated. Ovation room only. Yeah. That was we amazing. Should, we should take the chairs away next time. That's right. <laughs> Seatless, meatless... <laughs> So none of the fucking hot dogs. Yeah, the dollar wings are gone. Yeah. We're doing it at 2 p.m. Yes, and, and it is vegan, yeah. and there are no chairs, and everyone is ovating. <laughs> Sorry, this is a pre-production meeting for the next show we're doing, which I guess, way to bury the lead, is in L.A. So right. like, I don't even know if these people will be yeah. there. Right. Doesn't these make sense will. at all. <laughs> these guys are going to do a flying ovation to L.A., <laughs> clapping through security. <laughs> Putting their hands like this. Yeah, they get tased immediately. <laughs> uh, this is kind of a historic night. I don't know if you guys realize this. Yeah. This. Um, tell them. Sure. I mean, this is um, kind of coinciding with the end of our podcast. That's right. Yeah. We're officially ending If I Were You, which is our advice show, in a few weeks. So this is technically, legally, our last live show together. Wow. That's correct. You guys should be sad. Yeah, but stand up when you say ah. Yeah. (laughs) A standing (laughs) ah. Yes. Um, But because we're still in that ramp down part of our career, I feel like now's the best time to give advice. Oh, yeah. Because we're old and sad now. Yes. We're sage in our wisdom. We're the oldest podcasters that we'll have ever been up to this point. True. So we have the most wisdom to dispense up until now. Right. And we're not hosting our show anymore, so you can't write in to get advice. No, uh, it needs just, to be. Yeah, we'll do it live. We'll only... Bill O'Reilly style. Nice. <laughs> That's how old we are. Yeah. <laughs> Does anybody have any, like, burning questions? Or desires, really. Right. And it almost shouldn't be funny. It should be real. Yeah. Yeah, so don't, like, come up with a silly, zany situation. And Oh, someone's pointing at somebody. That's good. That's a good start. I kind of like that. Um, yeah, guy that got pointed at. Not the guy that's pointing? Right, no, the, the one that got pointed at. I feel like, because like, if someone says, does anyone have any issues? Yeah. And someone, like, points at you. Like, I guess I do. Uh, it's an issue that's been made public. There's yeah. something on, on the, t- something at the top of the mind. Yeah. Is that right? At the tip of that guy's finger. There's your not, friend's finger. What about the friend that pointed at? Do you think that's true? <laughs> what did he say? Friend, that's, friend that pointed. He's good. 
what should I do about my roommate? Mm, a cat situation. Roommate has a cat? And do you, you, love and the you don't want the cat? Oh, you dislike well, him. I, I like the cat. Oh, so no problem. Next so, question. <laughs> your roommate has a cat that you like. Should and I, you want to know what hook to up? do about it. <laughs> Can I kiss the kitty? Yeah. I'm serious. Can I pet or kiss the kitty? I love the little titty tat. Um, no, let's say no if that's the issue. Right? Okay. Well, I mean, yeah. you can always kiss the top you of the kitty's head. You call it titty tat, no. Yeah. Yeah. No, I get that. Yeah, that's fair, right? Uh, anybody else? Cat related or otherwise? You're pointing to her. No, you can't force other people to do literally anything, let alone ask oh, a serious question. Oh, there's one, an actual question. hand. <gasps> okay. Um, my brother is getting into the his mid-40s. Oh, my God, mid-40s. Gross. <laughs> you have permission to blow my fucking brains out <laughs> if I ever hit literally 41. <laughs> you're, you're, you're 40 now. Sorry, you were saying? Yeah. That's it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Enough already. He's thinking. I'm in my mid 40s. Right. What's wrong with me? He could get a titty tat. He could always tell a titty tat. Yeah, you could always get a titty tat. I did. I did saw a titty tat. <laughs> Have you seen Looney Tunes or Sylvester the Cat in so any other any cartoons? For a forty-four-year-old <laughs> looking for a relationship. Uh, is he sort of well-adjusted, nice and normal, or is there something messed up with him? <laughs> you can tell you us. Can it's be only honest. the internet. It's just us. Here. Yeah. He's nice and normal, but um, I mean, to a fault. <laughs> there are definitely uh, a lot of areas of his life he could. Um, be better in, <laughs> and uh, he just he doesn't, and I don't know why, but also it's not helping. Uh huh. Yeah. Well, you say a lot of areas. <laughs> is there one specific one, or is it kind of like a general work? Work, 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 work. I thought I thought putty putty tat. Sorry about that. Yeah. Nobody got me in a Chrysler. <laughs> Nobody has me in a right. Chrysler. <laughs> Such an old Rihanna song. <laughs> sure. <laughs> and I'm an old. All of your references are old Rihanna songs. <laughs> or Looney Tunes. Yeah. From or the mid 30s. We'll do it live. <laughs> I'm all over the map, man. I'm in my mid-40s, and my references are from the mid-1940s. Yeah. And you also don't have a job since we're ending the podcast. You hang out with his brother. Oh, wingman style. Yeah, that's what your brother needs, a wingman. Yes. Yeah. Have you ever wung mun for him? I tried. Yeah, real, real talk, he, he didn't think that I was his son. Oh. <laughs> wow. How old are you? 26 and mid-40s. Holy smokes. Damn. Your parents, like, fucked twice. <laughs> Seems like and that was it. Yeah. Regardless of the ages, yeah. though. <laughs> totally. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Probably yeah. more than twice, quite honestly. I mean, I assume you have Bryce? another sibling, or they were just like only child 18 years later, another one? That's it. Nice. <laughs> twice. Another one. <laughs> so that's DJ Delivered Khaled name, as DJ the dad. Khaled, yeah. yeah. Oh, I thought it was the doctor. Oh, that's yeah. sexist. <laughs> Why? Because the doctor, doctor was, was a Rihanna. woman. Yeah, Rihanna. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Very good. Let's take that again just for the uh, video. That's sexist. Because the doctor was Rihanna. So you wanted to take it again and not and not have you interrupt me. No, I wanted, you wanted the wanted to whole do the hog. Yeah. Nice. Nobody got me in a Chrysler. <laughs> Are you guys ready to see some real funny people, I guess? <laughs> for lack of a better term. Uh... These two are joining our two-timers club. That's right. Whoa. This is their second HeadGum Happy Hour. Put your hands together for Exploration Live, a.k.a. Charlie Bardet and Natalie Rodder Leitman. Nailed it. Give, give it up for the boys. Yeah. Let's hear it for the boys. Let's give the boy a hand. Hey, guys. What's up, everybody? Listen, it was a little chatty back there, and it was a little... 
Hey. <laughs> That's seriously scary. To That's... not be able to find like the part in a curtain is literally like, I think that happened to me once in high school theater. In real life? Yeah, and like it was like I had an entrance. And it was literally like, it's like, and the doctor will come soon. And you just see in the back, like, a curtain be like, da, 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 da. It's like so scary. I know. Sorry, but, I was thinking about something else. Yeah, no problem. <laughs> so we do this thing on our show mm -hmm. where we each bring in a list of ideas, mm -hmm. and then we talk about them together. It's like yeah. airtight premise shit like that that you'll find on this network. <laughs> um... So and what we do basically is we give it when we're doing a live show, we give it to someone in the audience yeah. who's going to read the list and then just kind of exactly. Yeah, that's totally right. I'm yeah, feeling uh, jealous of your outfit. Thank you. It's kind of I well, got my whatever. own stuff going on. <laughs> yeah. So we need two volunteers. Wait, by the way, look at Natalie's Uggs. Yeah. She's wearing pink Uggs. Yeah, you bet. Couldn't be cuter. Yeah. All right. So do, who wants to read my list? Okay, thank you. Okay, You'll and read can my you list. read mine? Okay. You're and actually pretty far away from me. What about you guys? <laughs> <laughs> Are you? Who um, yeah. Okay, what's your cool. name? Nikki. Nikki. What's your name? Okay. Polly? Yes. My middle name is Pauline. <laughs> Give it up. Um, Give it up. You have that? Yeah. One of my friends in high school was named Nikki. Oh. This is scary. This is like spooky. Okay. I'm going to start with Polly because she's like, you're they're an hour away it's literally like, from the stage. Natalie. I know. Okay, Polly, will you read okay. my first thing? Straight partner. Okay, so straight partner mm -hmm. is, well, don't laugh yet. Like, <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm serious. Yeah. So straight partner is a thing of like, you know, when like people are like, I hate when straight girls call their boyfriend their partner. Mm -hmm. It's like, well, they do that because now lesbians say wife. <laughs> right. Like, we did gay marriage. Right. So, so it's, it's like it kind of like had to swap. you have a partner anymore. Right. We're gay, by right. the way, so yeah, relax. So everybody chill out. Mm. But the thing of like, I <laughs> hate, like, they're taking our thing by using partner. It's like, no, 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 no. We all get married now. Yeah. So let them say partner. They they don't get to do anything fun. Yeah. <laughs> well, the also like, very least they can do is like, say partner. Yeah. Like, who gives a shit? People are also like, people are like, oh, what? Like, straight people can't say partner. I'm like, well, my cousin says that that about her boyfriend right so what you're gonna tell my, you're gonna tell me my cousin can't say yeah, that yeah exactly wow. right, right, right. that's my cousin right that is not cool you Literally. guys well like first of all she's a theater teaching artist so relax you know what i mean like have some respect and she's studying to be a therapist so she might be your so therapist she someday. Can't say partner. She can't say partner. Wow. I actually think when straight women say partner about mm -hmm. their boyfriend, like it's actually a helpful flag that they're saying, like, "Hey, I like am." It's like I'm a little embarrassed that he's a guy. <laughs> totally. <laughs> and it's like totally. okay, like I'm normal, and I know it's like not my favorite thing yeah. ever, but mm -hmm. like, and it's like, listen, like he's my partner, so it means like we like. He like knows about the stuff he's supposed to think. Yeah, like, I exactly. Told him like, about we've it. talked. Yeah. He's, he knows he's supposed to be nice he to me. He doesn't just so. say whatever. Right, like, exactly. He, or if he does, then yeah. I told him he can't. And it's so true because I go the other way when I've had boyfriends. I'm like my boyfriend, and I right. love that. It's like yeah. I'm like I'm 16 and I have a boyfriend, and he's taking me to prom. Like, and I want that. I'm reclaiming that a little totally. bit. Totally. You know I mean, I mean? Same with me and girlfriend. And wife. <laughs> you can have it all. Most people say wife now. Right. Regardless of what the situation It'd is. It'd be cool for me to say my wife. And people would be like, what's going on yeah, here? Yeah, yeah. What do you mean by that? Yeah. You start doing that. That's kind you of funny. You should say wifey. Wifey. Even my wifey. Even about me or whatever. Well, should I say girlfriend? <laughs> and people would be like, huh? I'm like, girlfriend, uh, like, generally. Like, the way people say partner. My you girlfriend. Know I mean? No, because I think of when you say girlfriend, it sounds like sex in the city. Oh, totally. <laughs> Which is like a little not as fun. Totally. This is whatever. Okay. Why don't you do your next uh, one? Okay. Nikki. 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 Give it up for Nikki, everyone. Okay. Nikki's okay. here. What's my first idea? Uh, goodbye book. Okay. Goodbye book. This is the thing of Bye. when. Do you guys know when you read a book? Yeah. <laughs> Look around. You better. There's because... people like viciously shaking their heads now. <laughs> Like nodding or, or being like, no, no. going like this. Oh, okay. You'll but get they're there. Funny, no they're funny. They're funny. Yeah. They're funny. Oh, okay. I see. I'm telling okay. you. Yeah, you've, you've done it. People, okay. Um, it's comedic. We, right. Okay. 
No problem. Um, you know the thing of when you read a book and you're and especially when it's nonfiction. When you read a nonfiction book, you're like, I am accruing knowledge. You're like, this is just chock full of knowledge. Like right. every page, you have like forty facts about it, and then someone will be like, will mention a book you read. You'll mm -hmm. be like, oh my god, I read that, and they'll be like, what did you like? Did you like yeah. it? What did you learn from it? And you're like, um, there was something the. Yeah. The, there was a woman in France in the 1500s, and she made pretzels or something. Yeah. That's all I you got. Know what? <laughs> okay. I yeah. I used to feel that when I was like in mm -hmm. school, like yeah. I would just like like I would take a class about like the history of like World War One. Like right. I never did that, but right. like <laughs> you could. I'm not have. insane, but right, let's right. just say. Right. I I don't think they even teach that. No one right. knows what happened. Right. 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 <laughs> Like when you're in school and they're like, "How did World One start? World War One start?" And then the teacher's like, "Trick question." Like, we, we don't we know. Don't know. <laughs> like, and you're like, "There's actually what no are way to know." Here? And she's like, "It's a different. Everyone has a different idea." And it's right. like, well, "Then let's not do this class on right. this." Like, right. why don't you guys figure it out? You come tell right. me when it's done. Well, that's yeah. the thing. Nobody knows. It wasn't that long ago. Like, <laughs> right. what is it? Like cave paintings about what happened? Like someone wrote it down. That is what I'm reading a book about now, by the way. World War like One? Far, no, 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 like really Cave far paintings. past. Okay. But what the thing of it is that you kind of come away from it and you're like, I guess what this turned into is one funny little anecdote. Mm. Like from a book, people are like, how was the book? And you're like, well, I learned this one funny thing yeah. that I can say right now. And that's what I took from it, actually. That's a, and that's a lot. And it only takes like 60 hours of that. <laughs> <laughs> well, can I say something I was going to say about mm -hmm. the World War One stuff? Is yeah. like, I realized, because I remember in college being like, this is a disaster. Like, I'll be in a class about like a time in history. I'll think I'll know it. And then mm -hmm. the next semester, like, I don't know a thing yeah, yeah, that yeah. happened. Like, right. gone to my head. I couldn't tell you one thing right. and then I kind of realized like when you get older the idea is you only remember stuff that happened in history because you hear about it like every day right like Same more on do you know that. what I mean like yeah. every day every mm -hmm. day every day some like someone brings up like the things that happened in World War II yeah that's not so much my experience I know. it doesn't make any <laughs> I'm sense I'm saying that Let with love uh, wait I want to do another I want to say another thing about oh, it oh okay well this was in there uh, this is vaguely related but I remember in college I took a class called ichthyology which was about the study of fish and I was like, this is a cool way to get my science credit because it's like, fish are amazing. Mm -hmm. And in the first class, he was like, look at all these amazing eels. And I was like, ah! Yeah. I was like, so in. It and hit so hard. And I was you. like, this is crazy. Like, more people who aren't like science people should take this. This is so fun. And I didn't realize, I was like, this is so weird. Everybody else is like a fish scientist, actually, mm -hmm. in the class. And then it's like, I like, signed up for it. Awesome. Locked it in. And the second class, they were like, okay. This kind of fish that's in uh, the Pacific has three of this kind of backbones. Those backbones are divided into six subcategories <gasps> of bone type. And I was like, ah! <laughs> <laughs> He got you with the, he the got eel me. Thing. Right, I was like, where's the videos of the eels? Yeah. I thought it was going to have to be like enthusiastic right. and that would be kind of the criteria. That's so funny that he's like, I'm going to do this sexy eel thing at the beginning. Right. <laughs> and that'll draw people in and it like worked on you. Right, like, literally. I was like, you got me. <laughs> I would be like, babe, like no one wants that either. <laughs> but if You're I was like, good the luck. wife, yeah. I'd love to be a professor's wife. Mm -hmm. <laughs> hey, uh, can I get my next one, please? No second. No second. Mm -hmm. now, what the hell is this? Oh, right. This is the thing of like when you're... Yeah, I don't love this one. When you're walking somewhere, <laughs> when you're going to work mm -hmm. or like whatever, you're somewhere and you're late and mm -hmm. like there should be a way to flag to the people around you that you don't have a second mm -hmm. to spare. Mm -hmm. Because yeah. sometimes you run into someone <laughs> yeah. on a day when you're like, no, 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 you don't get it. Mm -hmm. Like, I'm fucked, yeah. you know? <laughs> like, if yeah. everything goes exactly uh, right at every stage totally. of the process of getting there, yeah. I will be like reasonably late. Right, right, right. And if something goes wrong... It won't be wrong, a big problematic thing for right. my livelihood. And yeah, it, maybe totally. it still will. Right, <laughs> Who's But I don't say? have time to think about the consequences right now. Right. I just have to like swivel my hips and get myself like to the you, next... It, and sometimes you run into someone at that moment and it's like, hey, and you're like, no. <laughs> like, I can't even communicate fast enough. Like, you know there should I be a hand like, symbol. Literally, yeah. it's like you're in those modes and you are you feel so righteous about it even though it's literally like you are you late because up. you fucked up. Yeah. Like, you literally like... Watch a 30 minute long YouTube video. You knew you had like 15 minutes before you had to go. Mm -hmm. And literally, like, you will do that. You'll see like a woman pushing a stroller and yeah. she like kind of gets in the way of you like running a red light. Mm -hmm. And you're like, oh, fucking bitch. <laughs> it's literally like, no. 
so I long. Know. This is your fault, stupid. Sometimes I have this thought when I'm in line and I'm mm-hmm. late yeah. at like a coffee shop or something. Yeah. I'm like, we should all have to say yeah. what time we need to be somewhere. <laughs> totally. And then they rearrange the line yeah. based on how much and time you, everyone needs. But yeah. then I'm like, if we all also had to say like the stakes mm-hmm. of it, yeah. you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> right. I'll be late to work. Like, my boyfriend will be mad at me. Whatever. I'm like, every time I'm like, I would lose. So it's actually very grounding. Right. Like, it's a nice moment of like, Mm-hmm. You know what? I don't need this that badly. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah, it's actually really nice. But I try to project that if I'm online at a coffee shop, I'm like, <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> it's like, seriously. They should also have a hand symbol or mm-hmm. a sign or something that yeah. says if it's the kind of coffee shop that takes an hour or totally. that takes a second. Oh you know my what God. I mean? Yeah. Because I worked at a coffee shop that took an hour mm-hmm. and people like wanted to shoot us in the head. Yeah. Like they were literally, <laughs> I remember this one day there was a backed up line out the door, morning rush. I'm on the, I'm on the machine. I'm pulling the worst shots. I'm blowing it every time I got to redo. Is this calf or no calf? I don't remember. We start again and it's the morning, you know, and there's yeah. some like silent contract that I feel like people have where it's like at a coffee shop in the morning they have to mm-hmm. get you in as fast as you can because yeah. we all go to work and it's like not this place yeah. because I'm here yeah. <laughs> you know who worked there we just got the light mm-hmm. Stacy. L- excuse me she did not work there <laughs> you know who came in sometimes mm-hmm. Stacy London is she here we did we talk about this at the show last time here that would be insane I think we did uh, Stacy London lucky you guys yeah why don't you do your last okay. one? <laughs> Does that matter to you guys? Okay, never mind. Stacey um, London from What Not Nikki, To Wear. She's okay. a lesbian now. Or queer, okay. bisexual woman. I'm not sure. Far away movie. Okay, far away movie. This is the thing of like, why is the most engaging media you've ever seen in your life a movie that someone is watching four rows ahead of you on a plane? <laughs> I don't know. Why are you literally like, if I don't see like Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs yeah. on the smallest <laughs> screen in the world, no subtitles, I'm Why? done. Why? Yeah, and you're literally, you're like, like. <laughs> I don't know. What is it? Because literally, it's like, I have that on my screen. I'm like, no, I don't want that one. Yeah. <laughs> I want theirs. And then I'm hooked. And meanwhile, I can't like watch a TV show to save my life. I'm right. so distracted. I and this goes. To, you know the thing of when someone's watching TV in your house and you'll watch it in the doorway for 45 right. minutes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh huh. I think uh-huh. it has to do with the pressure mm-hmm. and the expectations yeah. of different like levels of consumption. Like if you're if you, someone else put something on, yeah. it's like you put no investment into that. So there's no, like the yeah. pressure on the situ- on it to be good is very, very low. Right. So any amount of interest that it peaks in you is like a surprise. Right, you're like, this so is amazing. So it's kind of like very interesting. Like you're like, oh, right. wow, like my roommate put that on. I didn't even want to watch that. Right, totally. But if you put something on, right. the expectations are higher. Yeah. You know, you're like, I want to be entertained, so I put this on, and then it has to be like, pretty good to keep that. Yeah. Otherwise, you'll go to your phone or whatever. Uh, and you're also like, I'm in charge of turning this off. So yeah. you're doing a constant evaluation of like, do I like right. it, do I not, do I like right. it, do I not, right. do I like it, do I not, do I like it, do I not? And it's so nice for someone's like, looks like they're riding all the way through and cloudy with a chance. Yeah. They have really committed to this. like, they're like on their like laptop. Right, exactly. Right, guys? Yeah. <laughs> you gotta wrap up. Yeah. Do we have any like closing Let's notes? Let's end with this. Okay. <laughs> What's your deal, you guys? Yeah, um... <laughs> no, I'm kidding. But seriously, we're so happy to be here. Are we doing the cute? Are they going to ask us questions? No, they cut that. Right, guys? Right. Okay. <laughs> Let's pretend Perfect. they asked us one question yeah, each. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One question each. Okay. okay and I wanna, I'm gonna. What would not you want to say... be asked right now? No, but I'm going to just answer it. Okay, go ahead. No, no, no. But I need to think of one. Okay. I'll just you answer it too. Mm-hmm. Um, just the bottom half. <laughs> <laughs> Does anyone want to guess what the question was? What? What's the hottest part? <laughs> yeah. What's the hottest part? Well, it was going to be which part of you gets sweaty at night. Oh. Wait, did you guys guess that at all? Does I was kind of right about that? that. I think it's this new medication I'm on, but I cannot keep my legs dry. <laughs> I am sweating like the bottom half of me is like a friggin' road runner. Totally. I am, mm-hmm. it's out of control. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. I don't know if just in my sleep I am moving my legs mm-hmm. so much mm-hmm. or if the sweat is just coming. Uh, you is know anyone on Zoloft with a sweaty bottom? <laughs> Whatever. Yeah, you're toast when you're like Google. Okay. Um, okay, I'll answer. Um, I think all the time, right? Mm-hmm. I think it's just mostly like kind of whenever, wherever. I know what it is. What is when it? When do you think of your ideas? Exactly. That's it. right. Did you all guys right, know you that? Guys, okay. Thank you so much. Bye, everyone. <laughs> 
Oh, we got a leaving ovation. Oh, wow. Thank yeah. you for that. A going to the bathroom ovation. Really cool. Thanks for everybody that's standing up at the bar ovating us as we come on. How Actually, cool. we're all, you're not even giving yourself a standing ovation. Look at you. It's kind of cool to sit down and be ovated upon. Really? Yeah. You're almost standing. It's because this mic is pretty high, but I have a can in my hand, so I want it. Well, here we go. Yeah. No, it's not, it's not worth it. Yeah. It's not worth it. That looks like more effort My hands are kind standing. of fucked up from the gym. I was really shredding rock this morning. <laughs> I sent a green square. <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> Uh, should we answer another question? If anybody's, you know, now that they've been thinking about it, maybe they're like, you know what, maybe I will finally right. open yeah, up Right, yeah, we went off crowd. stage and everyone was like, thank God that's over. <laughs> but maybe you were thinking of a question while we were backstage, and maybe you're ready to ask it now. <gasps> Ovating man. Um, I have stress-induced alopecia in my beard because I started a company last year. Mm. But I need to keep the beard to look old. Mm. In work conversation. Interesting. What do I do? Stress-induced alopecia in your beard. This is honestly the best question we've ever gotten. <laughs> it's like there's a real problem to solve. Here. Yeah, because it's both else mental like, but also I, yeah, dermatological. Right. Everyone else is like, I want to fuck my best friend's sister. Cat. Yeah. yeah. Right. <laughs> I want to fuck my best friend's cat. cat. Well, I already have fucked my best cat. friend's cat. Yeah. Yeah. A lot and of what it do is cat do? related. Right. Most of it's cat related. And this guy has, it's so you're, there's no pigment in some of your beard hair. It's like white. No, it's, the hair is gone. Oh, and it like, went also, away. And he's right here and we can see the beard, which is amazing. <laughs> this is truly so incredible. But I know the answer because you have a very tight cropped beard. And you just need to grow it longer so you can co comb over the bald spot. A comb over for your beard alopecia? <laughs> yeah. I mean, my beard grows in kind of patchy on the sides, but you can't really tell. Maybe with these lights on, fuck. Because uh, it's, it's nice and long, and you do the comb over. It's yeah. the comb over method. How do you know it's stress-induced? Google. Oh. No further Check questions. But you couldn't Google how to cure it? Or did you try? Uh, honestly, I did it. I did it. No. That's awesome. Because it's impossible... <laughs> Doctors love to just say, are you stressed? Like, that's why whenever, like, something's wrong with me and the doctor's, like, fucking checkmating me, it's like, ooh, your whatever is high. Are you stressed? And I was like, no, not at all. <laughs> really? Are you stressed that you can't figure out what's wrong with me? <laughs> <laughs> Certainly you wake up tired. Not at all, actually. But I bet you're tired of trying to diagnose me. 11 hours waking up relaxed. Why would I be stressed? Nothing even a little bit uh, during like the political turmoil. I don't read the news. I have nothing wrong with me. Figure out another reason, bitch. <laughs> Sorry, doctor bitch. <laughs> You can't talk to me like that. All right, all right. I obviously took it too far. You can't talk to me like that. I'm Rihanna. <laughs> uh, all right, sweet. Should we keep this show going? Yeah, why not? Uh, we might as well. I mean, we have more funny people to introduce. For example, these two just freaking sold out Wembley. Holy I'm serious. Fuck. Put your hands together to, for Francesca and Ruby. Wembley to caveat. Love it. <laughs> We were really thinking about like what a performance duo is, sort of like mm -hmm. the in the classic sense. Mm -hmm. And I really always thought of it. We're sort of a lot of the people here are just sort of experimenting with with this as a performance duo thing. Do you know what I mean? Just like sitting on a chair. Whereas like I really always think the performance duo has to do with like choreography, singing. Right. <laughs> you know what like, I mean? Um, so, like a, a piano. Simon and Garfunkel. Some Simon Garfunkel. You know, you know, like a Vegas act. Do you know what I mean? Yes. And like I was sort of like imagining like, okay, so you guys like do like a little can you guys help me out for a moment? Okay. You guys, because you guys, you can't see what I'm seeing, but you guys are in the perfect shape of a piano. <laughs> oh, they are. A grand piano. And it's a grand piano. A grand. All of this right here is the shape. You're all of your bodies together. You guys are literally in a flash mob right now. You had no idea. <laughs> you are in the shape of a grand piano. Okay, so you guys over here, you guys are going to be like, yeah. It, you guys are moving as as one, as a united body. I'm not looking at you and go, go! And I'm you're only you one key. and your brothers and yeah. sisters around you. <laughs> Do you know what I'm saying? Okay. So when I point at you, you go, you know, you get it, right? Okay. Because this is what I was thinking that the performance duo would sort of be like. Yes. And someone's playing the piano? Yeah, someone's sort of a light piano I mean, sound. Or we... 
No, 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 it's in the background. Oh. So it's like, we got on stage and there's oh. a light piano sound. Uh, I love it. <laughs> nice. We're sort of feeling groovy. Nice. Yeah, and maybe I would be like, hey, Francesca. <laughs> how are you doing? And I would ask Francesca how they're doing. And I'd say, um, good. <laughs> I'm really good. And then I would be like, hey! And I would sort of say something back to you, to being you. like, yeah, are you really good? And then I would maybe do like a classic like punchline about your mom or something, you know what I mean? That, and then I would go, joke no. about your mom. <laughs> and I'd say, hey, you can't talk like that about my mom. <laughs> and then I said, but can't, and then I would go like something like this, and then piano. But you're sort of louder this you time. Got, and you keep going, You I keep going, say, go. yeah. No, but now at this time, after I said that thing about her mom, you go, you, you're you going like, ah, na, 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 na. Okay, so that's where we're at in the act. Go. <laughs> the mood's increasing, and, and then, then I would go, I'm well, crossing. can your mom do this? <laughs> you know, and that's when we get into the dance element of the performance too. And then what would I say, do? no, but she can play a nasty trombone. <laughs> and then, <laughs> and then you guys over here would probably go. Ba -do 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 -do. You go. You <laughs> wow, wow. <laughs> Ex okay. <laughs> exactly. Wow, wow. Wow, wow. Nice. <laughs> nice. <laughs> yes! yes! That's a performance duo. Now yes. That's a nasty trombone. Exactly. <laughs> and then I would be like, whoa, what crazy sound, Francesca. Where so did you get that sound, Francesca? Well, I spent the weekend in Paris this weekend. Paris, France? <laughs> yes. Never heard of her. I would say something funny like that. Are we both girls? <laughs> That's a question well, I Well, famously, have. I'm dressed oh. like a big girl. <laughs> <laughs> Just yes. for tonight. So yeah, I'm a girl. Who Are you a girl? And I'm a girl, too. Okay, girl. Yes. Yes. And I say, I'm a, I was in Paris this weekend with my boyfriend. And then you go, <laughs> boyfriend. Yes, yes. <laughs> As I say boyfriend, you go, wow, wow. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And I say, Boyfriend, boyfriend. Whoa! Whoa! Never heard of him. <laughs> You're always going from boyfriend to boyfriend, Franny. I'd call her Franny on stage. <laughs> and then I go, <laughs> where is he from? <laughs> and I say, a little town called ah, Lisbon. <laughs> Lisbon! And I, and I would then sort of go into my new act about that. <laughs> and then I ask to... you, how's your husband? And I go, my husband? I haven't seen my husband in 20 years. You know, something funny like that. I go, 20 years. In fact, I remember the first time I met him. Gosh. And then this is, all the instruments are sort of done with their jobs at this point. And then I go, yeah, I remember the first time I met him. It was at a ball game. Yeah. <laughs> and that was the night I not only fell in love with my husband, <laughs> fell in love with a great American song. <laughs> and then this is when I go into my new bit that you guys are gonna see. And I go, America's a crazy place. <laughs> and yes, I go, it is. America's a crazy mixed up place, but it's my country. <laughs> and then I'd go, <laughs> And this was the night I fell in love with this national anthem of sorts. Tell them about that anthem. <laughs> I certainly want to hear. Take me out to the ball game. The ball game. Take me out to the crowd. And that at this point of the song, you're incredibly vulnerable and you go, <laughs> you're in the ball, you're in the ball arena. <laughs> Buy me. And maybe I'm doing like, yes. And you're doing that. <laughs> yeah. And then you would go, Buy me some peanuts and crack a jack. Because I'm vulnerable at this point. 
And I don't care. <laughs> now I'm feeling more strong at this point in the song. Me too. You too. <laughs> <laughs> if I ever get back, because that's the part where we're not at the ball game, our regular lives. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> if I ever get back. <laughs> Cause it's, and then this is the part where we go, cause it's root, 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 root for the whole team. And then this is the part where as two Americans, yes. we're throwing all of our American optimism up. Do you see at this point? Root, root, root for the whole team. And we go out, we go out to the audience. And if they, don't win. <laughs> what are we gonna do? <laughs> we go back. What are we gonna do? They don't it's, win. If they don't win, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a shame. It's just a shame. shame. Do you see what I'm saying? <laughs> the build up. We were sort of threatening you. What were you gonna, what were you gonna do? Were we gonna launch a rocket? Were we gonna? Torch, you guys. Right. I don't know, you know what I mean. Right. We were threatening violence yeah, like, in that in moment, fight, and then yeah. we went all the way back. It's a turn. It's a turn. If they don't win, it's a shame. shame. It's just a shame. shame. It's a feminizing. Totally. It's a shame. Yeah, it's a shame. <laughs> Cause it's one, one. <laughs> it's two. two. It's, it's three, three strikes, strikes you out. <laughs> and that's harsh. At that point, you go, whoa, hey. Why am I out? Yeah, why am I out? <laughs> Excuse me, I'm out? Of all people, why me? Yeah. Am I out? Right? Absolutely. Right. <laughs> We're playing with violence at that point, too. <laughs> You're out! Why am I out? And then I go sort of back here. Right, you do. <laughs> the ooh, and then we're getting sort of existential. It's light. Oh. It's just the ooh. <laughs> oh. And then maybe the piano. Yeah, no, no, you're just going bow, 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 bow. <laughs> It's the old. It's the old. It's the old. of the set. But that's not the end of the show. That's not the end of the show. No, not That at was all. just us sort of musing on what a performance duo would be like. <laughs> yeah. Yes. And uh, we have a lot of uh, um, musings to do. Oh, do we? Let's close this out with... <laughs> Let's close this out, out with the, the this. Sing. Song. Song. <laughs> sing. sing. Sing a song, sing out loud, sing out strong, and don't worry if it's not good enough for anyone else to Sing a song. Sing a song. Sing it loud. Sing it loud. Sing out strong. Sing out strong. <laughs> Don't worry <laughs> if it's, it's not good enough for anyone remember to hear. Just sing, and then you guys go maybe. Sing. 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 
sing a Thank you, everybody. <laughs> Ruby and Francesca, wow. Rock and roll. Straight out of Wembley, O2 Wimbledon. Can you believe it? O2 Wembledon, they performed. <laughs> nice. And they conquered. Wow, did they get an O, a standing one? I think so, a standing O2. <laughs> Incredible. Insane. Incredible. Uh, here we have to keep the show moving. Yeah, we're running long. Holy smokes, you love to see it. <laughs> awesome. The sign of every good show. <laughs> yeah, that it doesn't end. Running long. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, why don't we bring on their next two very funny comedians, Tim from Root Tales of Magic. That's right, and I'm going to headgum soon. Holy smokes, is that true? Another D&D show. We can't stop. Finally. And uh, River, who I hear is performing May 26th at Littlefield. So yes. put your hands together for Tim and River. Woo! Nice birds. Yeah. yeah. Oh, do you do you bird? Uh, no, I've just started oh, watching. Yeah. Sorry. No, I just noticed you no, from sorry. over there. No, you're yeah. a beautiful woman. What? <laughs> sorry, I do, I'm 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 a man. So. Oh, yeah, I'm okay. sorry. Yeah, it's okay. I'm sorry. No, it's fine. No, 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 it's okay. Yeah, yeah, it's my my bad. No, it's it's totally no, fine. No, I've just been like I've been looking for my wife. <laughs> sorry, I'm not. Uh, not your wife, and I'm married, so. It's okay. Yeah. You just seem nice from very far that, away, and I, I, I find that like a nice like wife quality. That's I I, I agree. A, yeah. a, a, it's just like what I want. That's good. Yeah. No, I, I uh, a wife should be nice. So I'm happy to yeah. be nice. Yeah. Oh, it, there's, no one should be any. No one should be any. Right. No, but you just are. I yeah. just could tell from far. I mean, that's why I opened up with the birds. I don't really I watch, that. but yeah. No, that's a really cool. What is that? Is like that's a that's a, that's a um, red bellied woodpecker, and even though it has the red, it, so it, the, the, you can see it's not red headed, even though it has a red cap on the head. The red headed woodpecker, the full head. Rather than the cap is, right. is red and the red belly, you can't see it because of how it's attached to the tree. Oh, wait, I see it. The belly, you can yeah, see it's that's very amazing. light. It's not yeah. as, as, as robust as the red You know a lot head. about birds. I, I, yeah. I, like to, I like to pay attention. <laughs> I like to pay attention. You know, I, and I learn, I look at books, I have books, and I yeah. look at them online. And, like, and there are, there are like right. birding communities I don't want to be a part of because they seem like kind of not. I, don't, I want this to be just about the birds, not about the people. Right, so, yeah. right. No, beautiful, beautiful mind. Kind. Thank you. Yeah. You, well, you seem very nice and friendly, and I'm frankly, it's kind of brave to come up and talk to somebody that have nowhere. I mean, so. I really thought you were my wife. I'm not your wife. Yeah. 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 No, no, I'm just like I don't have one. I'm just like looking for one. That's okay. I mean, you're gonna. I mean, you're gonna find. One. There, was, there was a time when I did not have a wife. Right. You have a wife. <laughs> I have a wife. You're yeah. married. I'm married. Yes. Oh. Yeah. That's cool. I have the same ring. It's well, no, it's not the same. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well. Not the same ring, but yeah. Um. Like I have the same. So it's like weird. We have the same ring, and you know. Are you sure you're not my wife? I'm not your wife. I'm not your wife. I have a wife. I'm sorry. I've just no, been. It's okay. No, I'm just like so sad. I've just been looking. <laughs> I've just been looking for like anything, anything, like anything that resembles like what she could be. You yeah. Know? Like I it's could. so fucking hard. Like dating sucks, and yeah. like. I just want a fucking wife, you know? I get it, I get it. Hey, You're uh, so nice. Thank you, that's nice, I'm not- Do you have a wife? I do have a wife. I'm not your wife. Are you guys open or? No, 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 no. So there's no space? No space for that. I, I couldn't emotionally, I don't have time. No, neither I, can I. I don't think you can be open and have a hobby is what it seems like to me. Right, no, I don't, like I don't think it's about, I don't, I don't think it's about, I mean, I'm not, I'm not down for it, but like if there was space, I could take her. No, take her from, no. I don't know. Hey, it's, I don't it's, know, man. Hey, 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 hey. I'm hey, in hey. a really bad place. Hey, it's okay. No, I, I, I can, I can tell that you're in a bad place because you're talking to this stranger. But you're being very open and cool about it. I mean, I mean, I just feel really strong connection with you. Okay. Well, yeah. well, well what's your name? Um, Venom. Venom. Yeah. Oh, I'm Clark. Oh, nice. Yeah. Do you have a last name? Yeah, Kent. Oh, nice. Yeah. 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 What do you do for work? I save the I or uh, journalism. I do yeah. journalism. <laughs> yeah. 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 That's what do right. what do you do for work? Um, <laughs> oh, you're Venom. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes, yeah. I mean, yeah, I'm okay. like you so, know me. Sorry. sorry yeah. <laughs> I, I know yeah. I look different because I I'm like I'm trying to relax. I'm trying to like just like let loose, and I'm looking for love. Yeah. How do yeah. you? I mean, what what do you usually look like? Oh my god. <laughs> 
Sorry. I know. Sorry, I know. It's, I, I know. No, no, oh, no, 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 no. You don't have to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't mean to. Okay. Well, I mean, that's why I don't. I, I'm trying to leave that behind. Everybody knows me as like this toxic mask. Ah, well, and I'm like, I don't want to do that anymore. Like, I'm really shy yeah. and I'm vulnerable and I'm looking for my wife. Sure, and, like, sure. <laughs> well, can I just, can I just say, can I just say the idea of leaving behind the version of you that seems to bring you power is not something I would recommend. Because I think, like, I'm invulnerable, so nothing can hurt me. But I do think right. that, like, the part of yourself... You don't have any... Nothing can hurt you? <laughs> nothing can hurt me. Okay. Nothing can hurt me. But I do think, like, that part of you is still you. And even if it's toxic and scary, I mean, that's still you. And I think embracing that is cool. I, I don't think, like... I think if you had a venom, you wouldn't be go go looking for love with your venom on. I don't know. I think that... I think a lot of people hide the toxic parts of themselves, and someone who has got the bravery to put that out there and be themselves in that way, I think that's effing fucking cool. Are you sure? I do. But every time I show you, you're flinching. Well, you look strange. Yeah. You look weird. I look ugly, right? No, 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 I no, look no. fucking no, ugly no, when no, I no, met no, him. No, 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 no. Like, you're not, you don't look, uh, you don't look ugly. You're, you're like flinching whenever you look at me. It's just, but it's, 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 it's just a, sh it's, a it's, a, it's the contrast, the shock of contrast. I would flinch if yellow suddenly turned to green. Well, <laughs> yeah. okay, yeah, but if you, okay, like if you were, if you were my wife, for example, and I came up to you like Venom, okay. my fucking, like, like this, yeah. You keep closing your eyes whenever I do it. Like that's not cool. Well, that's that's because you're that's because that's that's because Okay, that, I won't do it anymore, but just fucking like all I want is love. Yeah, like no, fuck. Hey, oh, like yeah. I have a ton of friends. See, I don't have as many friends as I used to. How many friends do you have? I've got like a few, but most of the time we just we're people who work together and those are special relationships too, but they're people who I work with and like it's not the same thing because that does get complicated through right. shared goals and goals not being shared but still being shared. And, and basically when you're married, you sort of close up a little bit and your life becomes a little bit smaller. And there's joy and comfort in that. But there's right. also can be some loneliness too. But, but do you feel like your wife is your best friend? <sighs> That's complicated. That's complex. That's complicated. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Um, I feel like our. I feel like it's like it's friendship and it's not friendship too. It's companionship. It's right. Different. I mean, that sounds like beautiful. It can be. It's kind of. It is a special thing. And I don't. I'm saying that because I want to be do honest. Do you cuddle with you. at night? We do cuddle at night. Yeah. You guys aren't open. We are not open. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Nor would we want. And you're a. You are a man. Yeah, and I just and, and I feel like every time I affirm that, I want to say that like I am a man and present as a man, but also people can present as men and not be a man. I know, I'm not, I know, I'm not saying I know, that as like a I, thing. No, I, and I'm not feel, inferring I feel like having, that you have another like no, gender exactly that you're not that, expressing. Although maybe but, I am. But, like, but that's know. what I mean. Is every time I say that, I feel like I'm trying. That might put out some things I, that no, I, 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 I think don't it's, believe. It's just know? us here at the park and like some birds. <laughs> I mean, but like a ton of birds. Yeah, yeah, they are. They, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I have a lot of friends. Yeah? Yeah. See, I, I miss having a lot of friends. It's nice. Yeah. I have like very strict boundaries with my friends if we don't kiss or touch or anything like that. That's not that strict. <laughs> I mean, it's strict for like, you know, this kind of world. I'm Venom. Yeah. <laughs> you yes, know, like yeah. I should be like, fucking my friends. <laughs> But I don't. I'm, I have got a really soft heart, and I have like strict boundaries, and not a lot of people know that about me. Yeah, yeah. Like I'm a really good person. That uh, you seem like you seem like a very nice person. You yeah. seem like a very good person. And I mean, goodness. Let's take goodness out of the equation, because I think goodness is a sort of trap. That right. I mean, with. nobody's gonna describe me as good. I wouldn't. But here we are. But you here think, we are. And you're enjoying my company. But you're smart. You're kind. You're open. You're brave. Yeah, but it's the thing is like when I'm vulnerable. When you're vulnerable, it, it becomes, comes out. See, that's interesting. Oh, uh, <laughs> See, this is interesting because when you're vulnerable, the toxic is it is the toxic part hiding the vulnerable part, or is it to, is the toxic part the vulnerable vulnerable I think part? It's part of it. What? What do you mean? I think that it's like the toxic part is my vulnerability, you know, and that's like the only way that I know how to express it is like through venom. Like you know, like every time I like come or something, you know, like it's like it's venom. <laughs> Like if I'm like sad, like therapy, okay. it's like fully venom. It's like I stub my toe, it's fucking venom. So can I, I have an idea? You said when you come, you're venom. Yeah. And when you're vulnerable, and you wanna be vulnerable without being venom. Right yeah. now, let's have you come. 
and nothing can hurt me. I'm invulnerable. I'm not gonna come right now. No, I'm just saying that if you do that and we and together we can work, I'll be like a sex therapist or something like that. I, ah! But it's like, how can I even do that when every time I look up, you're like scared of me. I'm not. You're like literally scared of my whole face. I'm like, not. I'm. Not, I, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm <laughs> I, I, venom, I, venom. Wait, can we get? Yeah, what's up? Can we get out of the scene for yeah, a second? Yeah. We don't work well together. Yeah, we don't work well <laughs> together. It's not working, and I think we have to tell. We have to. Yeah, we have yeah. to do something different. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, I, I. Okay. Here's my. I think maybe. Okay. I have a wig. <laughs> we do the scene again. I put my wig on. I could definitely be more venom. Okay, so I think. I or could... like something like a wig, but I have a wig. Okay, so I think I think we could try that, but if I can just for Clark Kent, I was thinking maybe I could, um, you know, I was thinking I could maybe um, try one of the try. I think I think I think I, make it, I could maybe do Clark Kent as a puppet. <laughs> if you do the wig, then I do Clark Kent as a puppet. Yeah, as long as I could use my wig. You may use your wig. We could see what anybody else wants to add. Yeah, I mean, could, I mean, how? Because we don't we don't work well together, so may, figuring out how to make this better would be good. What what else could we do to make this scene better? You know, crossing your arms crossing your arms is an act of aggression. <laughs> see, when you open yourself and you you don't even it's a, not not to me to yourself because it prevents you from connecting. It's a shield. This is the first thing you learn in an improv class. It's a shield that protects you from stuff. Tim? Sorry, I love to teach. Oh my god. It works though. Okay. Okay. I'm like feeling it. Okay, cool. So w any any other things to add on to the scene? Sound effects. Sound effects. Are you going to do them? Yeah, sure. Okay. <laughs> More birds. More birds? You want to do the sound of the birds? Accents. What? Accents? Funny accents or accurate ones? <laughs> Funny. Okay. All right. All right. A comic. Anything else? One more thing? Plot twist. Plot twist. A plot twist. Oh, my God. Okay. <laughs> Do you have any twi twist ideas, or you're just going to leave me hanging? Clark's wife comes in. Okay. Great, great, great. Okay. Oh. But oh. we need a wife, then. We need a wife. Um, like, then I need a wife, then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Do you want to play the wife? Do you want to play the wife? Do you want to play the wife? <laughs> Um, do you know Lois Lane? She's a she's a star star journalist at the um at the okay, okay 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 okay. So you'll come in as the wife. You're gonna do the bird sounds. You're gonna do sound effects, and we're and we're gonna pick funny accents. Yeah. yeah. Oh, look at the bird. Oh, yeah. Oh, I love the birds so much. Oh, man. They look crazy to me, these birds. They do. I'm sorry. I must be talking your ear off about these birds. You really are talking my ear off. Are you a woman? No, no, no. I'm Clark Kent, a.k.a. Never mind. <laughs> Well, that's really funny that you're saying that. Hello, my name is Venom. Venom? Like the character? Exactly, like the character, but I look really different. Oh, no. Well, I'm sorry. I'm not your wife. I love you, though. No, here's the thing. I do not have a wife, but I'm looking for one. Will you marry me? No, no, no. I'm married, and I love my wife. In you're fact, married? She would hate it if I were talking to you. She's envious, jealous, and does not trust me. <laughs> Oh no, that's no good at all. I'm a really nice guy. Oh, I can tell Venom, you're really nice. But here's the thing. Yeah? I, I, when I get vulnerable and I come, I turn into Venom. Oh no, that's disgusting. And I mean, I mean, uh... <laughs> I mean, Don't make me feel bad about it. The world is already bad enough. Climate change and all this shit, bro. Oh, don't get me started. Climate change depresses me. Yeah, but at least you got a wife. I would love to be snuggle bunnying with my wife at 90 nights. Hey, let me tell you something quick. If my wife were here right now, she'd tell you that the connection between a husband and a wife or a wife and a wife or anyone with anyone, it's not everything in the world. It's one small, powerful part of being alive, but it ain't encompassed. But you just said powerful. Yeah, it's definitely powerful. I need more power. You want power? 
I want power. I don't hear no birds. I think the bomb is going off. Oh no. Well, I think a big bomb is going off. Let's try to hear it. If we are. It sounds like that's water. Well, well, Venom, if we're about to die, and my wife isn't here, of course, maybe I can die. Oh, shit, here is that you? your wife? Oh. There's a bomb going off. <laughs> Damn, your wife doesn't even get up to save you. That is not true love, bitch. <laughs> and your wife was somebody else. <laughs> Your what? wife is literally sitting at a table with, watching you die, bitch. What a twist! <laughs> Amazing. I yeah. think, yeah, yeah, I think this yeah. made it better. Yeah, 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 I think that worked. Thank you so much. Yeah, you know, you we haven't worked together in so long, and I think you all brought us back. Yeah, yeah, so we appreciate and why? The, uh, um, and I think we're out of time, is that true? Yeah, okay. Bye. Bye. Amazing. Tim and River, let's give it up one more time. One more time. I'm always scared I'll mess up the names. Yeah, you nailed that. Yeah, sort of. But I'm, I'm very wary about the last names. I don't want to mess anybody's right. last name. Yeah, up. everyone gets a first name. Yes. But in the duo show, it, it kind of makes sense. Yeah. But yeah. I have a weird name, too, so I don't really have a leg to stand Amir on. Shmuel? I was going to say... I'm not making fun of him. I just said his name. Everyone else laughed. I didn't say it. You said you had a weird you name. You said the I middle said name it. instead of the last. You said, I have a weird name. I said Amir Shmuel. Yeah. And then everyone laughed. And I didn't fucking... I wasn't even in a joke. You said the middle name, and you didn't have to say the middle name. Why didn't I... You said you didn't have to say the middle you name. You said I have a weird name, and I said My name is Andrew. <laughs> yeah. And my last name is Black. <laughs> really? Cool. And I'm sort of debuting that tonight. I you like could call that. me Andy. Andy, Andy B. Yeah. <laughs> or Bandy Lee. Put her there, Bandy. God, your hands are wet, Andy. <laughs> yeah, How'd you get them so clammy, Andy? <laughs> I'm a clammy, landy, lammy, lammy. Uh, do we have any last questions? We got one more. This is your last act, chance. Yeah, this is, this is your, your last, last chance. chance. Ooh, there's one over there from uh, someone giving a standing ovation. Yes, ma'am, right there. Yeah, you should probably drop out. But what's your question? <laughs> what are you, what, what are you studying? Do you have any difficult problems or just? <laughs> yeah, what are you, what are you studying? Oh, for sure, drop out. Yeah, <laughs> for sure, drop out. Like, what do you want to do with an English uh, degree? Yeah, like, even saying that doesn't make sense, right? Yeah. I'm just curious, what do you want to do? Like, I learned your grad school thing by accident. Yeah. Uh, ideally, I'd go on to get a PhD in medieval literature. Shit, really? That actually do, sounds pretty uh, dope. <laughs> but to do, I didn't realize you'd be a doctor. <laughs> to do, yeah, fucking doctor of medieval fucking He's literature. He's going to fucking axe me later. Yeah. Just a throwing axe to the <laughs> sternum. Andy, no! no. <laughs> you killed Andy. Uh, what do you want to do with the medieval literature PhD? doctorate? Yeah. Are there? <laughs> <laughs> or are there one? <laughs> Is it working at a museum? Oh. Could you just forge a, um, a document? Always. Always forge. Yeah. I would say forge a document and save the cash. Yeah. It costs a lot of money to do it, and then at the end you have a job that's not a lot of money. That's the rub with grad school, right? Mm. <laughs> you can learn everything you need to know about the medieval times by going to medieval times. <laughs> have you ever been to medieval times? I actually haven't. Oh! They get a lot of it. They get a lot of it right. That's really good advice, then. Yeah. <laughs> Go buy yourself a plastic sword and eat a drumstick, and you'll save a lot of cash. It also, that also costs seventy-seven thousand dollars, though. Yeah, yeah, it's not cheap, but it's worth it. It is cool to be a doctor, so I understand the dilemma. I always wanted to be a doctor. Instead, I'm Andy Black. Doctor? Can you imagine Doctor Andy Shmuel Black? <laughs> That's really dope, actually. Yeah. Thank you. Actually, you gave me the kick in the pants I needed. I'm going to go to 
I don't know, fucking med school? How does it work? <laughs> yeah. He's a neurosurgeon. Really? Damn, that sounds hard. Wow. Could you tell him what's wrong with his brain? Can you diagnose him? I'll, I'll Can turn Can you to lobotomize him? <laughs> Can you do it now? Does anyone have a saw? Oh, get me a fucking battle axe. <laughs> A little two-for-one situation. Uh, all right, let's keep the show going. We got two more funny comedians left, and these two are pals. Whoa, pals. Capital P, pals. Put your hands together for Josh Gondelman and Karen Chi. Hello. I, hello, Hi. I'm Josh. I'm Karen. We're pals. Yeah. But they asked us for, I think when they asked us, what do you want to say, I think they meant professional credits. But We yeah. just said we're pals. Yeah. Like, what do you want us to say about you two? And we're like, say that we're friends. <laughs> That's what we want everyone to know about us. Yeah. We've accomplished things, but th the real accomplishment was the friend we made along the way. Yes. <laughs> Just one. One friend. So we don't, we're both busy and we don't get to hang out that much. So what we wanted to do tonight was we're going to, in front of you, kind of gut check each other's opinions on a bunch of things and just like learn in rapid succession what we think about different relevant things. Does that sound good? Yeah, thank you. Cool. Okay. Also, as we do this, we might then ask you for topics if we run out. So yeah. feel free to sort of get topics in your mind. Yeah, if there's anything, if you're like, these are two interesting pals and we'd like to know what they think about a topic, then you, we'll, we'll call on you. Yeah, that okay. sounds good. Okay, I wrote down my stuff on paper. I have mine on my phone. Oh, you're so cool. No. <laughs> You're old school. I respect it. Thank you. Yeah. I'm 47. I look amazing. <laughs> I'm 22. I look like shit. <laughs> I know. Everybody was like laughing, but kind of scared. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. I was actually, this is weird because I was Benjamin Buttoning and I just got stuck. It was really <laughs> fucked up. Yeah. I was like, ooh, I'm going to look so good in a couple of years. And it was just like, nope, this is it forever. <laughs> is anybody here 22? Nobody's oh. 22 anymore. Yeah. <laughs> we haven't been 22 for like eight years. Yeah. yeah. That, <laughs> eight years, right. That's how long it's been since all of us have been 22. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. okay. Do you want to go first? Do you want me to go first? Um, you can go first. Okay. Karen, what do you think about like um, Sunday night prestige television as an institution? Oh my God, I love it so much. Okay. Uh, yeah, I truly, I got so excited for Succession. I watched the first episode of Succession three Hell yeah. times. You watched it three times? Yeah, because there were three different viewings and I wanted to see all my friends. <laughs> That's so beautiful. Thank you. It sounds to me like you like friendship more than succession, even. Oh, yeah, you might be right. <laughs> well, then it's nice to be. But is that your favorite Sunday night show? Um, yeah, I don't. Are there other Sunday night shows right now? Yellow Jackets. Yes. One person. <laughs> so, the Showtime, learn a lesson. <laughs> Get on HBO's level. <laughs> Has no one else here seen Yellow Jackets? Okay, oh, cool. okay. That's nice. Yeah. Um, I've never seen it. It looks kind of scary. It's very scary. Yeah. Succession yeah. is already very scary for me. Okay. Yeah. What about it is scary? I haven't seen it. Just mean white people. Sure. Yeah. That is scary. It's very scary. Yeah. Yeah. Any mean white people here? <laughs> Woo! <laughs> <laughs> like, go away. Just one very confident person like, I am. <laughs> <laughs> Rupert Murdoch? <laughs> What are you doing at Caveat on a Thursday Huge night? Huge comedy fan. <laughs> I was thinking about buying it and turning it into a pit. <laughs> Just to watch you cry. <laughs> That's not his accent. No, you nailed it. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's wrong. It's, per it's perfect. <laughs> you got one for me? Yeah, I got one for you. Mm -hmm. um, public proposals. Hate them. <gasps> Why? Hate Oh, I proposed in private. My wife barely even knew. <laughs> she was like, are we engaged now? I was like, oh, if I did it right, yeah. yeah. I, it's so, I feel like the, the risk is so high. Yes. And it stresses me out. I will say when I'm on YouTube, one of my favorite things is watching proposals gone wrong. <laughs> <laughs> so I really love public proposals, but I would never want to be proposed to publicly. So you love public proposals for the reason that I hate them. Yeah, exactly. We, we, we think about the same outcome predominantly. Yeah. But I'm like, ooh, and you're like, yeah. You're like feeling empathy, yeah. and I'm feeling evil. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, that's fair. Yeah, what's the best one you've seen where it goes wrong? Um, it was a really windy beach, so mm -hmm. they kept having to like bring all the props back, and then it would blow away. Okay. And then they kept bringing it back, and then she said no. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, do it again. <laughs> God, that's like watching the early rounds of a slam dunk contest. <laughs> Just like boink off the front ramp. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, Jack's like, three. 
I truly, I never thumbs up things on YouTube, and I thumbs that up so I could find it again later. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's so it's so precarious. You must be so confident. Did anyone here propose publicly? No. Did it? Did Not even Rupert Murdoch. <laughs> Has anyone gotten proposed to publicly? No. Ha has anyone here ever turned down a proposal? Has anyone ever felt love in their life? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Cool. Interesting okay. crowd. <laughs> yeah. Very, very New York late night crowd where you're yeah. like, marriage? Mm mm. No. <laughs> <laughs> There's like, we're all a hundred tuple, actually. That's us. That would actually be really beautiful. Yeah, that would yeah. be really sweet. <laughs> Um, but yeah, do, hate a public proposal. Hate public proposals. Yeah. Okay. okay. I, I have something I know you love. Okay. But hey. I just wanted more thoughts on it. Okay. Billy Joel. Love Billy Joel. Oh yeah. Yep. Yeah. Hell yeah. Has anyone seen his MSG residency? Yeah. A couple of people. Yes. Didn't it rip? Yeah. Karen, you've yeah. seen it more than once. I've seen it three times. <laughs> <laughs> and who did you go with? Uh, two times. I went alone. Oh, wow. <laughs> Jolo solo. <Yeah. laughs> It's really fun. It's really fun. I go, and it's the opposite of succession. It's really nice white people <laughs> filling all of Madison Square Garden, and they know all the lyrics, so I don't even have to talk to them. We're just singing the yeah. whole time. It's wild. Yeah. When I went, the, the people on the floor, we sat way up in the back uh, in the nosebleed seats in honor of the cocaine he did in the 70s. And uh, you, when you sit that far away at a Billy Joel concert, all you're visually missing is Billy Joel, so it's not that big a deal. <laughs> you know what he looked like. You know what Billy Joel looks like. You don't have to see him. He's, he, he looks like he'd be the Samantha in Bernie Sanders friend group. <laughs> yeah, I could see him being friends with Bernie Sanders. Yeah, and he's the one that fucks. <laughs> Bernie is the one that fucks? Billy Joel's the one oh, that fucks. Oh, yeah. Bernie's the one whose standards are too high so he never finds someone. <laughs> That's fair. That's fair. I can see that. Mm -hmm. Would you want to be friends with Billy? Yeah, I'd want to be friends with Billy. Wow. I bet he's got great stories. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. He has pugs that he rides around in the sidecar of his moped. That's pretty cool. That's really cool. I, I love the whole thing. The Down at the bottom, this is my problem. Because all his fans come in from Long Island. They, like, drive in or whatever, take the train. And then he flies in a helicopter like he's going to war against his own concert. And and then on the bottom, nobody dances because it's Billy Joel's music and how. And they, But they want to show appreciation, so they just stand at rigid attention the whole time like they're at a police chief's funeral. <laughs> so... Yeah, it's Everyone's pretty intense. Everyone's saluting. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They're just like, uh, nothing but respect for my president. <laughs> Billy Joel and Donald Trump. <laughs> um, yeah, it's it's wild. I, lo I loved seeing Billy Joel live. What's your, do you have a favorite Billy Joel song? Vienna. Vienna. Yeah. Oh, you answered to, oh yeah, one one Vienna lover. Yeah, we should get married. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, public proposal. Yeah. <laughs> hey, yeah, yeah, that would okay. be great. Okay. I've got another one for you. Okay. What do you? Oh, this is a big one. Okay. What in this topical hot button issue? I don't mean to rock the boat or ruffle any feathers. What do you think about Flacco the owl? I don't. I don't know what this is. Oh, you're gonna love this. What? So there is an owl named Flacco at the Central Park Zoo, and he got free, and now he's just living in Central Park. And they were like, he's not gonna be able to kill mice, and he's killing the shit out of mice. <laughs> Oh, he's killing so many mice. Yeah, he's putting on weight. He's getting jacked. People are coming to look at him, and he's just sitting in a tree all day, just like... Rrr, rrr, rrr. Like, yeah, I did that. <laughs> it's so cool. His name is Flacco? Flacco, yeah. I love that. Which is, that, you know, that's Spanish for skinny, but he's like a little round guy, so oh, I think it's ironic. That's fun. That's like how Robin Hood's friend was Little John, but yeah. he was so big. Yep. I think about Robin Hood often. <laughs> <laughs> what, do you, what about him? Oh, the fox, not yeah, the yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. what I figured. That's all I think about. I just picture him in my mind. <laughs> and then I go about the rest of my day. <laughs> You're like, still can picture him perfectly. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you gotta go. Yeah, how did you learn about Flacco the Owl? He was on, he's all over the news. What? Yeah. My whole job is reading the news. I know. I can't believe Flacco got past you like he did those zookeepers. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> What I have been reading is the indictment. That's probably why. Okay. Wh yeah. what do you, how do you feel about that? Oh, I'm glad he got indicted. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Flacco got indicted. <laughs> Just to catch you all up. He might Free also the homie, then get big Flacco. arrested. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. It, it was so confusing because I didn't know what indicted meant. And so then everybody was like, yes. And I was like, oh, I actually can't tell 
it, what side you're on. Mm -hmm. um, and then <laughs> indicted is you're good. Like, <laughs> you're like, tried three times, never indicted. Yeah. You're like, you don't know how the criminal justice system works. <laughs> no idea. But now I know. Now I know. Flacco would also be a funny, ironic nickname for Donald Trump. <laughs> That's true. Or the owl. The owl. <laughs> he does have kind of an owl-like physique. Yes, 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 yes. I could imagine his um, feet being... Talons? Yes. Yeah, for sure. I couldn't think of the word talons. I was there for you. Thank you. That's what pals do. Yeah. We've never seen his feet, right? No. He, it, you know how you know if they were talons is if he ever said that they were regular feet. Yeah. <laughs> if he was there like, I got the most normal feet you've ever seen. That's talons. Five toes on each one. <laughs> Big burly men cry when they see my toes. They're so beautiful. You're like, those are fucking talons, dude. Yeah. It's really gripping onto things. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. He's giving his speech, whenever you see him behind a lectern, there's actually just like a tree branch that he's standing on. Oh, I wish that were true. I know. I would unindict him. I know. <laughs> <laughs> you, you would undict him. Yeah. Okay, wait, I have another one. Oh, okay. Um, feeling very small. And I, I mean this in the sense of, because so, sometimes you feel small if you're short. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you feel small <laughs> if someone is mean to you. This is like, are you writing a children's book in real time? <laughs> yeah. But I mean feeling small as in like, when you're on top of a giant mountain and you're like, whoa, I feel so tiny compared to the vastness of this universe. Oh, I love that yeah. feeling so much. Do you, how do you, how do you all feel about just an existential feeling of smallness? Yeah, oh, that's right. That's fucking right. I guess if you like it, maybe all just declare the word yes very loudly. Okay, how do you like it? Yes. Oh, wow, overwhelming, overwhelming response. I like it because, like, you ever, like, look up at the night sky and be like, it's fine that I never called him back. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, It's, yeah. like, such a good feeling where it's, like, because I, I feel so much like, you know, you sometimes you wake up in the middle of the night and you're like, man, that thing, that time that I was talking to this dude, Matt, and uh, in high school, and he was like, my brother's a good kid. And I was like, yeah, but he makes some bad decisions. He's like, that's not what I was going to say. And I still think about that uh, 20 years later. And then I see a mountain, and I'm just like, he doesn't remember. And it feels so nice. He's probably thinking about another mountain he's looking at. Yeah, that's true. Yep. That's great. I have another topic. Please. Um, okay, wait. This is a question. Okay. I know what happens in the women's restroom at bars. What happens in the men's restroom at For, bars? Well, can you tell me about the women's restroom first? Yes. Okay. okay. I think after about like 10 p.m., if you go into the bathroom, I'm just washing my hands. A nice drunk lady shows up, and she tells me I'm the most beautiful woman she's ever seen. And then I go, thank you so much! <laughs> You're the most beautiful woman I've ever seen! And then whoever joins really gets in on that chorus. That's amazing. Yeah, it's really nice. I love going to the bathroom in public. Okay. Do you want to know what happens in the men's bathroom? Yeah. Pissing on the floor! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's kind of what just I Just missing the toilet, missing the urinal. Yeah, pissing where... Forever. Do you say sorry? Do I say sorry? No, no. Do any men say sorry? No, never. That's like not what we do. Right. Fair, fair, fair. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I think that's us, right? Yeah, I think that's well, us. Well, thank you so much. We've been pals. You've been pals. Have a good night. Thank you. Okay. Keep it going for Josh and Karen. And keep it going for Andy Black. Keep it going for yourselves. Thank you, guys. Thank you so much for coming to our second New York HeadGum Live. You sold it out. It was incredible. And we two really for two, baby. Appreciate two that. Two for two. Two, two for two. Two for two. two Punch for me. Two. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in my head. <laughs> Thank you, everybody. Thank you for coming out. That's our show. was a HeadGum original.